Welcome to Daughters of India. In our last episode, Anaya spoke about Rajmata Jizabai, the mother of Shivaji Maharaj. This Sunday, I, Ikshu Shande, will be talking about Sindhu Tai Sapkar, the mother of a thousand orphans. India is the second most populated country in the world, and a significant part of this population are children. But it is appalling to witness the fact that a chunk of these children is usually orphaned or abandoned, and they are forced to live in poverty and face continuous rejection from society. Sindhu Tai Sapkar's story is an evidence of similar dejection. Born on 14th November 1948, Sindhu Tai saw the world from the eyes of a cattle grazing family in the Vartha district of Maharashtra. Always considered unnecessary, she was labelled Chindi, which means torn cloth, by the society. But the young Sindhutai's hunger to learn more was omnipresent. Her father was keen on educating her, but her mother opposed this. Hence, Sindhutai could only complete her education up till class fourth. And at the nascent age of 10, she was married off to a man of 30 years. Even after being crushed and chained by the shackles of child marriage, young Sindhutai never lost hope. Instead, her passion to help the helpless and wronged activated. Settling in the Navargaon forest in Vartha after her marriage, Sindhu Tai strongly opposed the exploitation of village women who collected cow dung by the forest department and the landlords in 1972. Little did she know, this fight would change her life for the worse. During her pregnancy, a nasty rumour of infidelity was circulated by an angry landlord. This raged rejection for her from the community. Even her husband left her. Beaten, she gave birth to Mamta, her daughter, on 14th October 1973. She then returned to her maternal home. But there too, she faced an unapologetic rejection from her very own mother. Feeling lost and betrayed, Sindhutai started singing and begging in chains to make ends meet. She continued to fight for her and her daughter's existence and made train stations, cow sheds and cemeteries her home. It was during these experiences of poverty, homelessness and objection that Sindhutai came across dozens of orphans and women that were blatantly ignored by society. She soon started adopting these orphans and worked and sometimes even begged incessantly to feed them. To avoid partiality towards her biological daughter, Sindhutai sent her to a trust in Pune. After years of hard work, she raised her first ashram in Chikaldara. She travelled across many villages and cities to raise money for her ashrams. Sometimes she even had to fight for her next meal because of the lack of funds. But Sindhutai never stopped. Till date, Sindhutai has nurtured and adopted over 1,200 orphans and they fondly call her Mai. Most of her adopted children are now lawyers and doctors and her biological daughter Mamta and her adopted children are now running orphanages of their own. For her exemplary contributions, Sindhutai Sapkar has received over 270 awards from international and national organizations, including the Nari Shakti Award, India's highest civilian award dedicated to women, which was presented to her by President Ramnath Govind himself in 2017. Sindhu Tai was also honored with the award of Dr. Pindamaneni and Srimati Sita Devi Foundation in 2019. Me, Sindhu Tai Sapkar, a Marathi language film based on her life, was also released in 2010. She has also founded numerous organizations across Maharashtra that educate and shelter thousands of orphans. Even today, Sindhu Tai Sapkar works relentlessly to shape the future of these orphans because she believes that a deprived child means a deprived nation. 
Sindhutai Sapkal's social entrepreneurial journey is nothing less of an inspiration. She said, and I quote, There was hunger and fire in my belly, which I realized was there in all my children's stomach. So I shared my hunger and started the work for orphan children. I remember my father while accepting this award today. He always used to tell me to fight this situation rather than cry, unquote. She truly is an inspiration. Who inspires you? Send me the names of inspirational people around you. Thank you.